Ryan Harley, cruiser editor here, sitting aboard the 2015 Indian Roadmaster. Had the pleasure of riding this for the last couple months. Uh, we're approaching 3,000 miles now. Broke it in with a 350 mile run out to Reno for street vibrations. The first thing that, that really strikes me about this bike is how comfortable it is. For a six foot tall rider, these ergos are spot on. This seat, it not only looks beautiful, but it's ultra comfortable. There's no really pressure points on it. Like I said, I did 350 miles. By the time I hit Reno, I was still fresh. Get plenty of wind protection from the front fairing, the lower leg fairings, the adjustable windshield. As a package, this is one of the most comfortable bikes out there right now in the touring market. In addition to its comfort factor, this bike is loaded with a lot of really user-friendly biker amenities, heated seats, heated grips, Rode in this morning, it was 33 degrees outside. I was really appreciating the whole package from the wind protection to the heated amenities. You can lock your saddlebags at the push of a button. You can adjust your windscreen at the push of a button. Just overall, you know, from the clarity of the, the radio system to, you know, having easily accessible, very usable cruiser control. The one little thing that we do have an issue with is on the left hand controls, the buttons that you toggle, the audio, it sits really flush to the housing and so with a, a gloved hand on, it's a little difficult to use. You can't really talk about the new Indian lineup without mentioning this engine. The Thunderstroke 111, not only is it, you know, really a visually striking piece of work, but we threw it on the dyno, got a verified 102 feet pound of torque, comes on as early as 2300 all the way up to 3200 rpm you're over 100 pound feet of torque so first gear second gear you crack the throttle on this thing it's super responsive it just gives you a nice blast of torque once you're up to highway speed in about six gear found you know this little sweet spot about 2800 rpm that i like to keep it in because then it gives you excellent roll on so in case it's time to pass a big rig just roll and go as far as braking goes, it's got really competent brakes. It's not an overly aggressive bike, but the feel is there, the power is there. You have the luxury of ABS. One thing I like about the ABS, it's not overbearing, it doesn't kick in too early. It's dialed in just about right for this bike. And in our braking test, this thing did really well. It, you know, it stops in probably about 140 feet. When you're on the freeway, the miles just kind of melt away. The suspension's dialed in really nice. It's pneumatic rear, so you know, if you do have a passenger, you can pop off this little side cover, give it a few squirts of air, and get it dialed in for preload. Handling wise, the one thing that we do have just you know a little issue with is on the front. When you're into a turn, you know, you gotta stay on the bars and keep your line, you gotta work it just a little bit. And then that front tire has a way of translating any little like parallel groove or any bumpy road surfaces to the rider at the bars. That's the one thing that we wish, you know, was dialed in just a little bit tighter, but overall it, it's a, a solid package. As far as the gearbox goes, you know, it's a big American V-Twin. There's lots of power. First and second, you, you've got a little noticeable clunk. It's, it's a really firm, really notchy engagement but after that it smooths out a little bit and the following gears fall into place just a little bit easier. Overall the 2015 Indian Roadmaster is a wonderful touring package from its high levels of comfort to its very usable rider amenities, huge top case, deep saddle bags, wonderful protection from the elements. It's got this wonderfully powerful engine and just gobs of torque. And we can definitely see this motorcycle giving Harley-Davidson a run in the luxury touring market.